and the genius of the system we've set up here. Challenges. They asked me to talk about some barriers with non-traditional students. I've got them all. Ladies and gentlemen, my youngest student is 17 years old. My oldest was 71. 71 years old, he wanted to learn CNC machining. Okay, come on. Average age right now, my students is 34.7 years old. All ages come through the program. So when I look at the top challenges to face them, work, they've all got to work. 62% of my students have a part-time or full-time job. In our program, they're set up as a job. They go to school Monday through Thursday for seven hours. It's short term, but it's quick, it's hard. That's a full-time job. They all have a part-time or a full-time job that they work at as well, because they still got to provide for their families. So I do day and night, so Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 2.30, or Monday through Thursday, 3 to 10. Paying expenses, we heard it earlier. Most of our community college students have some sort of insecurity. This is from the 2018 Real College Report. 18% are homeless. I've got kids in my program that are sleeping around the corner in the car that I take them to the St. Cloud Food Pantry to help them out to make sure they can make it. Food insecure, housing insecure. You heard him talk about the affordable housing here in Central Florida. Now he and I were gonna disagree about a bunch of stuff he said, because I got a pathway to make you successful. You don't have to work a minimum wage job in this county, in Central Florida, because I can put you in above minimum wage. Family and friends is the number three challenge for our non-traditional students. My average age is 34 years old. They're all married, they've all got kids. They have life. So one of the things that you must account for with the students to come through our programs, career and technical education programs, is life. Because something's gonna happen. We have a 93% completion rate. Once they start the program, they're gonna complete it. The only ones that drop out is because of some sort of family emergency or they got a job. That's it. Family and friends are what their barrier is. That's what stops them from completing the program. So, what is the program and what's the pathway to success? Well, because, you know, we are who we are and we do what we do. I'll show you a quick video. If you have the attitude, we can teach you the aptitude. I wholeheartedly believe that's what Lindsay College program is doing here today. At Valencia College, a new foundry of knowledge is preparing students for the future of manufacturing. Well, hands-on meets high-tech in local environments based on advanced real-world technologies and programs co-developed by professionals in the field. Our advanced manufacturing programs align with national industry standards, producing a wealth of employment opportunities for graduates. It's certified in different fields, including electronic board assembly, CNC computer numerical control, mechatronics, welding technology, Six Sigma, and lean manufacturing. Lindsay's advanced manufacturing training program is helping keep Florida competitive for future jobs and new businesses by developing highly skilled workers to support a future workforce. It's not only just for a job, it's for a career. And a career with companies like Huawei, like Tesla, like SpaceX, New Origin, these are all companies that are breaking ground. And it is an amazing opportunity to even be here and share the same air with something that's going to be so explosive in the future. And I'm proud of you here. Earn your certification in as little as four months without a prior degree, diploma, or industry experience. Welcome to the college program you were made for.